y'all like that anyways you guys welcome back to my channel and today you guys are going to be cooking with london today on the menu we're going to be eating lasagna um i'm going to show you guys what my ingredients are the key word to this is my ingredients and what i use to make my lasagna i just choose to share it with you guys so i'm gonna get right into the video and show you guys what i'm gonna be using first off i'm gonna have i'm gonna show you guys is extra virgin olive oil then we're gonna be using uh barella lasagna some diced yellow onions i love getting them diced so that I don't have to waste my tears on no onion. Anyways, also I'm gonna be using Italian sausage, mild Italian sausage, and ground beef, 80% lean, 20% fat, okay? And I have Bertelli, Bertoli um, sauce. I do not make my own sauce. I am not a chef. I do not choose to know how to make homemade marinara sauce. I just don't think I need to do that. This is going to be a very quick way on making lasagna, how I make it. But this one, and it's um, the five cheese, okay? So I have three of those. Also, I'm going to be using Texas toast to have on the side. Um, some classic garden lettuce or salad. And this is the iceberg lettuce, carrots, and red cabbage blend. And also, we're going to have mozzarella cheese in that. And triple cheddar um, cheese. You guys can use whatever cheeses you like. You guys can have Italian sausage or not. You can have ground beef or not. It depends on what you like and how you want to eat, okay? So let's just get right into the process. All right, you guys. So in this pot is what I'm going to be using to actually um, cook my meat. I'm going to put my oven on 375. And I also have in this pot here my water that is going to be boiling for the noodles so first i'm going to take some of my olive oil and i'm going to cover the bottom lightly with that because i'm going to be using some chopped garlic and these are the seasonings that i have slap your mama but don't slap your mama you don't want to be in trouble for that i got some onion powder parsley flakes some oregano and some black pepper all right so now that that is in the pan heating up i am going to add my onions as much as you guys want i like to use about a cup and I am also going to add about a half a teaspoon of the minced garlic. Turn that up a little bit just to get my vegetables browned. I like using a wooden spoon to, to fry or to use to stir. Alright guys, so now that my vegetables are all browned, smells really good in here, I'm adding in the meat. I'm going to do both together because you can. Um, I'm going to brown the ground beef along with the Italian sausage all in one pot. And always remember to bring to tear this part off. We, we, we don't need paper inside of our food. And we're just going to try to break it up some. 
you know, so it can cook down. And you want to cook it down, break it up, cook it down, break it up. Um, so the meat, you know, will just soften up and it'll be easier to break up once it's cooked a little bit more. So while that's cooking, um, I'm going to add some, a little bit of olive oil. A little bit of olive oil to my pan, my pot of water. Um, just a little bit to um, put in so that my noodles do not stick together. Um, because I'm going to be making a nice size uh, pan of lasagna, I bought two, two boxes of the noodles. So I'm just going to go ahead and place those in now so that those can get it cooking down while everything is cooking down. I have definitely seen people make lasagna noodles just by putting them at the bottom of their pan and cooking them in the oven is while they're hard still. So whatever works for you. Um, opening the next box. I was told that um, lasagna is a good dish that if you don't eat it all right up and you have plenty left over, you could always freeze it. So if that's the case here, that's what I'm going to be doing. Okay. The so now that my meat is starting to soften up a little bit, I'm able to maneuver it and, you know, work it around and just ground it up all nicely so now i'm going to add in my oh i got the wrong one i have one that's already open so here we go i'm going to start um seasoning my meat to add in my flavor you guys can really season your meat with whatever your taste buds like but this is what i use this is a very simple recipe that i have and it's really quick, it's really good and fulfilling. Onion powder. I am going to also add that oregano in. And parsley flakes. Can never have too much. So now that all of my seasonings are in, I'm going to just continue to brown this meat. To me, this is the longest part of the whole entire recipe. So, you guys just hang on in there. And I like to chop my meat up to, um, so that it's not really big chunks in there. Um, that's a preference to some people I know like chunky ground beef, but me personally, I like for my meat to have like a, a softer texture. Well, not just texture, but the chunks not to be so big.
here is the finished product. I have layered all of my noodles with meat, cheese, meat, cheese. I don't personally like ricotta cheese. I've never tried it with sour cream and not everybody in my family eats sour cream. So I just do, do it without. And the only thing left to do is to loosely wrap some Reynolds wrap heavy duty uh, foil or whatever kind of foil you have. Set your oven to 375 and place this baby in the oven for about 30 to 35 minutes. All right, you guys. So I'm going to go in and check on this lasagna and see how we're doing. And so far, so good, you guys. That looks so delicious. I'm just going to... um let it cook for about another 10 minutes with the foil off and be right back done you guys i'm going to take it out so it can sit for a little while make sure i got my oven mittens on and here we have it is our lasagna look at that look how good that looks you guys it is so nice and cheesy it's bubbling it has like a little crisp around the edges and we're done all right you guys thank you for cooking with london and i hope that you guys are able to try this recipe out if you do comment down below how you like it even if you have a suggestion or any other way that i could spruce mine up or add to it let me know also down in the description box thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and as always girl I'll see y'all in the next video. Thanks again. Bye guys.